What's up, my LS Crazed Amigos? It's your boy, Terry. Speaking from the garage shop once again. Here to offer you some more big bang for the buck product and info. Yeah, that's right. You guys know about the Trailblazer Project. We're freshening it up. We're putting new products on there. We're putting better products on there. You know, and this may involve some of you guys. So this is why we're doing this. You know, because Terry always got something up his sleeve. That's right. All right. But today, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the hubs on this truck. You know, and it's time for me to replace it. You know, because... Um, I've been neglecting it, you know, like I saw the signs, and but um, it's time to change them. Yeah, you know, peep this. This is how I knew I had to change this. You know, I'm sitting up there, drawing my trailblazer, trying to look as cool as I can, you know, what's it called, you know, like with my bad self. Little Herman Kelly comes on, dance to the drummer's beat, you know, I'm sitting up there, beats, beats, the beats, the beats. Bing, bing, bing. And the next thing I know, I look down at the speedometer, glance at it, and I see this. What the? Why? Why? <laughs> yeah. Service the Villa Track sitting right there. You know, so that could mean only a couple things, and more than likely it's going to be the hub. You know, and so here's a couple signs how you know it's time to replace your hub. You either get a code, or either it gets loud. You know, you'll hear it, or either your wheel will move. I think this one is bad, the passenger side, but I'm going to do the both of them today. So come with me, and I'm going to show you what I got and how we're going to do this. Now, with the wheel removed, I loosened up all the brake line brackets because we're going to remove, we're going to be uh, removing this line right here when we replace the hub. So we just loosen up the brake caliper. Get the two bolts out that hold the caliber bracket in place. One's here, one's down here. See, get those out. Remove this with the pad and all. All right, put that down here. All right, and you take the hub off. Not the hub, but the caliper, the rotor. And there it is. Let's get that 35 millimeter and crack it open. Sometimes they don't want to come off, so a little bit more persuasion. I see it moving. So there we go. So now, to remove this hub, there's three bolts in the back. We're going to get to them. One, two, and three. Right there. Right there. All right, let's get it open. All right, so we got the hub broken free. Now, make sure you take note of how this cable from off the hub is traced to this connector because you're going to unhook this connector, and this is all inclusive with the hub. So, all right, make sure you separate the hub from this plate because you're going to be using that plate. Uh, yeah, the new hub's gonna go in there. And here's the old hub. <laughs> so we got a side by side comparison the old hub and the new hub. Okay, let's listen to it. You hear that? <laughs> now let's listen to the new one. Let's hold it the right way, let's hold it the same way. Nothing. Let's install this. All right, all complete. We got the nut back on. We got brakes back on. We got the brake lines cinched up the way it should be. We got the lines coming off the off the hub, going back and neatly zip tied. Out of the way, we got the connector back in. So it's pretty much a done deal. Put the wheels on and uh, take the first spin. And that's pretty much it. And that is how I fix the hubs, or should I say replace the hubs, on my Trailblazer SS. And this doesn't stop with the Trailblazer SS, it goes with the Trailblazer. This also applies to, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe uh, the Envoy, 
the SSR, you know, that truck that they had, that really bad truck. When I say bad, I mean really nice. I like that truck. Um, the Saab uh, 97X, uh, and I think a couple of other, uh, you know, vehicles in the GM fleet, but I'm not sure. But I do know they apply to those. But I'm looking at the clock on the wall. I was in the corner. <laughs> or should I say ceiling? And I just want to say, again, thank you very much for all the attention, all the love, all the questions, all the comments that you guys have been sending. Really appreciate it. Really do. So uh, I'm about to sign off. So always be easy, please. And I will catch you guys real soon. Take care. Beans. It's the beans. It's the beans. It's the beans. <laughs>